is waiting to just become a big, big engage. Charge come out, and RWM as well. T-Boy on the back with a dragon. Oh my god, Tima! Isn't that amazing? Would you want to do that? Well, if yes, this video is for you. We will cover all the essentials from the best settings to the best rotation for Cho. But before that, let's start the intro. In this video, I will show you how to use Tank Cho. Prior to that, you should already know the basics of Cho, like how his skill works, and you must know the basic combos. So in this tutorial, I will teach you the settings you need to use for Cho, the best emblem and talents, advanced combos, how to target the right enemy, precise positioning, and also the best rotation when using Tank Cho. Disclaimer, I'm not a pro player. This is just based on my experience on playing Cho. So, without further ado, let's start. So let's begin with the settings that you need to use. I recommend to use this style of settings. You can pause the video and copy it. Targeting method should be select targeting. Targeting priority is lowest HP percent, and this is the advanced control mode. Skills smart targeting is not needed for Cho, and aim panning is also not needed. You can on that if you want, it will not make a difference, but I will just put it on off. Let's go to the emblem set. So for Cho Tank, you need to use the tank emblem. This is very important for tanks. In the talents section, in tier 1, vitality is needed as it gives extra HP. In tier 2, tenacity is a good choice for Cho. It makes him more durable during team fights. And in tier 3, concussive blast should be your choice. It helps Cho maximize his combo with extra damage, and it also helps for clearing a wave. So this is the emblem and talents you should use. Now we go to the combos. There are two types of combo that Cho Tank is using in picking off enemies. These are the Flicker Knockup and the Back Kick Flicker. Let's start with the Flicker Knockup. This is the main combo that Pro Cho users are using. This is very easy and more reliable. To do this, you first need to cast your first skill two times, and then use the last cast, which is the Knockup. Then immediately use the Flicker and target it on any direction you want. This is a very cool combo. It can set up a play, can caught squishy target, and can really surprise enemies. The back kick flicker is a little bit harder. You need to do this when you are close to your target. To do this, you just need to press your ultimate then, before the animation that the enemy will be hit, use the flicker, and target it on the direction you want. This combo is used if you are not in the back of the target, or if you are not in the position where you can kick the target to your team. This combo also used to enemies that is chasing you. You can also use this on any direction, not just in the back of the enemies. I will teach you how to properly aim your ultimate and find the right target. Press and hold your ultimate and this triangle will show. With this, you can select the target that you want. For example here, I will try to kick this target, I will aim my ultimate to the target, and boom. It will catch enemies that you want. You don't just tap your ultimate, drag it to the specific target direction. This is very helpful when you are in a crowded enemies and you want to kick the right enemy. Cho is a pickoff type tank, so you must position yourself to always find available pickoffs. Use the bush to vision available targets. Don't be visible if you want to get an enemy. After picking off target, you must out if you don't have skills to use. Always surprise enemies with your kicks. Don't be predictable. Position yourself slightly ahead of your allies, especially the squishy damage dealers like mages and marksmen. This allows you to absorb incoming damage and create opportunities for your team to follow up. It's essential to focus on the right targets. Use your crowd control abilities, such as his ultimate to control high priority targets like enemy carries. In addition to initiating fights, Cho's CC can be valuable for peeling. Use your abilities to disrupt and control them, allowing your teammate to reposition or escape. And lastly, always be aware of the map and the position of your team and enemies. Always vision using Bush to be aware of the potential ganks and to have better position and respond to any situations quickly. Let me teach you the basic rotation you can use for a Cho tank. First is help your mid laner clear the first wave, then position to the bush so you can vision incoming enemies and zone or poke them. This is the first thing you do to secure the Lithawanderer. After that, track the enemy jungler and then try to fail their gank or counter it with a trade. Cho always need to participate on team fights.
When the turtles spawn, you need to be available, and it would be better if you are already at level 4 in 2 minutes. Then find a pick-off, or zone the enemy. You can target anyone if the turtle still has high health, but if the turtle is almost dead, try to fail the retry of the enemy jungler by controlling them. Then after the turtle, go to EXP or Gold Lane to give vision and help for incoming enemies. Try to find pick-offs in this time. Remember to use bush as an advantage. Then do this again and again until the next turtle is up again. So in late game, in order to get the Lord, you need to zone or have a vision of the enemies. Don't let them steal your Lord. But if there are squishy targets available, don't hesitate to set up and eliminate them and then secure the Lord. Finishing the game is hard, but it would be easy if you find the right target. Go with the Lord and then find a perfect target using your combo, then finish the game as soon as possible. Okay guys, that is my Cho Tank Guide. Hope you find this guide helpful. Feel free to comment below your opinion and also tips for playing Cho. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more guides and tutorials. Thank you. See you again on my next video.